What's up, fellas? Just sitting here, uh, pulled up to the date, and I uh, got to thinking about you guys. And I just got to thinking about, you know, all this ass I get. You know, I won't let you guys know that all this ass I get, I dedicate this to you. You know, um, I fucked the bitch last night. I fucked the bitch the night before that. I'm gonna try my best to fuck this bitch. I got pussy coming over tomorrow. And I just got to thank it, man. I know there's a lot of you MGTOW guys out there. And I just wanna let you know, man, I dedicate all this ass to you. I know women dicking you around and fucking you over and flaking on you on dates. And then I'm sitting here and I'm fucking fucking eight girls with fucking a bunch of prospects. And I'm just thinking like, I wanna let you guys know I got y'all back. I dog these bitches for you. I don't do it for me. You know, I don't, I don't I don't do it for me. I'm I'm here to let y'all know, guys. I dig these hoes down for you. So all you MGTOW, red pill guys, even some of you Elmore guys, I got love for you guys. And I dedicate all this pussy to you. All you guys. So tonight, while y'all doing y'all live cast, sexually frustrated, just know I'm probably gonna be dicking down another bitch. And I dedicate all that ass to you. Like, comment, subscribe. I got y'all back. These bitches dicking y'all around, so I'ma dick them down. Holla back. Rachel, fuck that shit. I'm about adaptation. And all these mid-tile videos about women behavior and shit like that, I ain't with that bullshit. Women about resources. Get you some resources, sell that bitch a dream, fuck that bitch to sleep, and then dump that bitch to the side of the road. The fuck I'm seeing all these motherfucking crying ass videos about female nature. Oh, if I lose my job, they'll lose me and they use us for days. Fuck that bitch. Fuck that shit. I found out about female nature. I learned about they love resources. I went out and got me a nice car. I started dressing nice. I sell these bitches a dream. I dick them down and then I toss them to the side of the road. Motherfucker, I was red pill. Motherfucker, I was mid tow for about a year. And then I said, you know what? You know what? It's a good old saying. When you mad at somebody, the people that you mad at don't even know or care that you mad at them. Women don't give a fuck that you motherfuckers on this internet bitching and crying all day. They still gonna fucking do what the fuck they wanna do. So why you on here making these motherfucking mid tow videos and red pill videos about female nature? We all know they tramps and sluts. What the fuck that supposed to mean? So what you gonna do about it? You gonna keep crying and bitching? Or what you gonna do about it? Okay, women like resources. Go out and get you a nice car. Go out and get you some nice clothes. Dig that bitch down and toss her ass to the side of the road. I learned that shit. Ain't no love live here, motherfucker. Ain't no marriage, ain't no relationship, ain't none of that bitch ass shit live here. I dig these, whole bitch, these hoes down and I dig them. Toss them to the side of the road. I used to be on that love shit. I used to be on that relationship until I learned these bitches' nature. Thanks to Midtown videos. But I, get, I moved on from that bullshit. I learned these hoes' nature. And I said, okay, these bitches can't love me. So ain't no need of me loving them. And so what I did, I went out and I got me a nice car. I started dressing better. And I started selling these bitches a dream. And I dick them down and then I toss them to the side of the road. I'm about solutions. Not bitching and crying. I see ear more videos right now on live screen bitching and crying about female nature. They ain't changing. They are about themselves. They are about self-preservation. What you gonna do about it? How many more MGTOW videos you gonna do about it? You think you gonna make enough MGTOW videos that they'll stop being about themselves and their resources? Them bitches are sluts. We all know they sluts and that shit ain't changing. I'm about solutions. Go out and get you a nice car. Start dressing Bella. Fuck that bitch to sleep. And then toss that bitch to the side of the fucking road. Stop crying on these motherfucking videos. This is my last mid-time video I'm ever making. Because I can't help you motherfuckers. Because y'all want to just wallow in self-pity. And I ain't on that shit. Bitches are about resources. They are about survival. What you gonna do about it? How many more MGTOW videos you gonna cry about uh, women using guys for dates? Women using guys for resources? We get it already, motherfucker. We get it.
They about themselves. We get it. I got it. Now, so what I teach the guys, I'm about teaching guys self-improvement. Go out and get your nice whip. Go out and get your body right. Go out and start dressing better. Get you a better job. Sell that bitch a dream. Dick her down and toss that bitch to the side of the road and get you another motherfucking bitch, nigga. Don't be coming on my motherfucking videos with that bullshit, crying and shit. I ain't with that shit, nigga. I'm about some solutions. We all get they motherfucking holes. I know they motherfucking holes. That's why I use them. Women have outsmarted you motherfuckers. Somewhere along the line, and I don't know when this was, maybe it was 10 years ago, maybe it was 20 years ago, maybe it was 50 years ago, I don't know. Women somewhere along the line learned that guys were about sex and they started dressing sexy and they started manipulating guys. Well, motherfucker, I'm about manipulation. I'm going to drive a Mercedes and I'm going to dress nice and I'm going to rock fucking two carat diamonds in my motherfucking ear and I'm going to sell you a motherfucking dream and I'm going to fuck you from the back and then I'm going to toss your ass to the side of the road like a damn dog. I'm about manipulation too. You see these motherfucking diamonds in my ear? That's for manipulation, motherfucker. You see this motherfucking... Mercedes Benz Key 550 motherfucker. That's manipulation, bitch. I'm manipulation too. The same way that bitch going well, push up bra and well fucking mini skirt manipulating you for sex. I'ma manipulate this bitch by driving Mercedes and rocking these diamonds in my motherfucking ear and wearing tailor-made clothes. I'ma fuck that bitch from the back and then I'ma toss her ass to the side of the road, bitch. You motherfucking bitch ass niggas on this motherfucking internet with this motherfucking whining and crying and shit, motherfucker. They learned the game. They learned men was about sex. So they started using that shit. You know these bitches about money. So start using that shit and stop bitching, nigga. Puss ass motherfuckers. They know you want sex. You know they want money. Use that shit against them, nigga. And stop bitching, motherfucker. Go out and get your nice whip. Go out and dress nice, motherfucker. And then tell that bitch you looking for a relationship. Dig that bitch down three times and toss that bitch to the side of the road. I'm done with you, motherfucking MGTOW motherfuckers. You don't want to. You just want to fucking whine. You ain't about no motherfucking solutions. I can't help you. So if you a motherfucking MGTOW motherfucking, you ain't looking for solution. You just want to whine by female nature. Bitch, they ain't changing. They ain't changing, motherfucker. They been like this. They gonna keep being like that. Just like we about sex, motherfucker. But them motherfuckers learned that shit. Somewhere along the way, they learned men about sex. So they use that shit against you. So they take your ass. They get you to take them out for three, four days. And then they dump your ass to the side of the road. Why? Because they know you want sex, motherfucker. So I know these bitches want money. So okay, I pull up in the Mercedes. Okay, I'm dressed nice. Okay, I got my jewelry on. I got my Rolex on. Okay, yeah. Bitch, now what? Okay, you gonna let you gonna let me fuck two, three times thinking you gonna get some money? Okay, now I'm finna toss your ass to the side of the road and I'm moving on to the next bitch. Why the fuck you other niggas can't do that? Cause you too bitch bitch bitching over a fucking girl, nigga. But I ain't finna kill this video on because I, I can't help you guys. This is for the guys. I made this video not for no MIG time motherfucker because them motherfuckers just want to whine and bitch. I made this for the guys. Let you guys know. Yes, women are about resources. Yes, use that hypergamy bullshit against them. Go out, get your nice car, start dressing better. Fuck that bitch three times and toss that bitch to the side of the road. How the fuck you think I done fuck over 50 bitches this year? Oh my charming personality motherfucker. If you watching this video right now, you know I ain't that motherfucking charming. Motherfucker, cause I got a nice car and I dress nice and I sell that bitch a dream and I fuck her two or three times and I toss that bitch to the side of the road on to the next. All you gotta do is get your shit together. Stop bitching and grinding, nigga. Like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, we moving in 2018. We done with that fucking crime bullshit. We about adaptation. We getting our money right. We gonna dick these bitches down and we gonna toss their ass to the side of the road, motherfucker. Fuck that shit. I pull all the way back. When she call me, she gonna lick my ass. You want me back, you gonna lick my ass. For a long time. For 30 minutes. However long I feel. And I don't even care for getting my ass licked. But I just want you to lick it. Because you gonna be submitting to me. Period. You gonna lick my ass. 
Maybe I took a shower, maybe I didn't. Either way, you're gonna lick my ass. If my ass don't get licked, we're not getting back together. Now, back in the day, now I have always been on this power shit, this power shit. So even before I learned game, any girl I had back in the uh, back in the past that I dated or, or was going with or whatever, I always would make them suck my dick. But that's sucking dick is like that's nothing now. Twenty years ago, that was a big thing. Oh, you gonna suck my dick? I know some of you guys probably too young to know that because now everybody, all girls suck dick. But when I was 21, 22, that was a big thing. All girls didn't suck dick or didn't claim to suck dick. Now that's not a big thing. So making a girl suck your dick is, is not a big issue no more. So now I make them lick my ass because now all girls lick ass. So now they lick my ass. And if that ever become too custom, I'll think of something else. I don't know. Maybe I'd make them uh, eat my shit. I don't know. But right now, I make them lick my ass. And it's a submission move. And if they push me away again, they gonna lick it again. Period. I don't wanna hear about no guys crying on no women behavior.